Of late, we've had a number of questions from people about how to merge two Excel tables together. So we're going to show you a very simple function uh, in Excel called VLOOKUP. V stands for vertical, and what it's going to do is look in one column uh, to find a matching code and then put the resulting information in a, in a second table. So let's show you this. So right now I've got I've built, a, I've built two tiny little uh, tables. One uh, shows a company ID up here and a list and, uh, and uh, products. So company ID 1 produces product A. It also produces D, E, and H. Company number 2 uh, produces product C and so on and so forth. So basically these aren't in any particular order, it's just a just a listing. So if I want to know who uh, is producing company A, or sorry, who's producing product A, I, uh, I know it's company ID 1, but I don't know who that is. So then I have to go over to my company table over here and see company over t uh, company one, company ID one is actually Alpha Co. Well, if you have a big list, that's really not very good. That's very challenging and time consuming. So you can use VLOOKUP to merge these uh, two tables together. So let's do that. So let's go back to my products table. I'm going to click in this field. Uh, I really could click anywhere, but I'm going to click in the field right where I want the inf information to be. I'm going to click formulas and I'm going to click insert function. And there are a lot of functions that do some cool stuff that do lots of cool things, but the VLOOKUP is what we're focusing on today. So uh, when you're here, you'll probably get most recently used and VLOOKUP won't be in here. So I would select the category of all, click in the select a function, type letter V, which gets you down to all the V's. And then in particular, go down to VLOOKUP. And it says when you're using a VLOOKUP, it looks up a value uh, in the leftmost column of a table and then returns the value in the same row from a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. So what that means is the, the, the table that you're looking up has to have its, inf in our case, the company IDs, has to have the company IDs in order. Uh, and on our company table, they are. It's uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think it's all we've used. So I'm going to click OK here. Uh, lookup value. So what do I want to look up? Well, I want to look up that uh, cell right there. I want to find out what company ID 1 is. And where do I want to get the information from? That's table array. Uh, well, that's on this tab. I want to uh, look at these two columns. And there, this again, there are two columns here. So it's saying, well, which column do I want to pull the information from? Well, instead of putting B, which is what you'd expect, you actually write the number 2 because it's the second column over. Uh, and just note before I do this that down here there's a little equals and this is if this is evaluating your formula as you go. And as soon as I put the number in here, column 2, it's going to put information in so I can preview it to see if it's going to do it right. And it does. Now the last thing is range lookup. And this is all about closest matches. So if I had uh, the word Arcus with an S or Arcus with a K, those are close and so if I put this in as true, uh, if I type the word true in here, it's going to get uh, close matches and it'll, you know, give me a, a, a you know, uh, data. Uh, however, with math, that's seldom what you want to do. So in my case, and in almost all cases, you're going to want to put false in here. And then it will only return exact matches. I click OK and wow, look at that. It looked up and found that that's AlphaCo. Now I want to apply this to the rest of these uh, cells. So I can just drag this down, take the grab handle and pull it down. Or I can double click on the grab handle and it'll populate the whole thing. Um, and that's really that's really that. There's only one more thing you might want to do, which is this. If you are going to work with this data in the future, you might want to get rid of the formulas. So you can see here that you know uh, that cell B3 or sorry C3 is uh, contains a formula. So if anything changes uh, in your source document, uh, in particular in Company A, this can change on you, and you can be in a mess. Uh, also, if you want to move these fields around, uh, the formula will dynamically change, and it will be a mess. So the easy thing to do is simply to uh, grab the worksheet or you know whatever part of it you care about. In this case, I'm just going to grab that, uh, highlight it, right-click on it and copy, go to a new sheet, and just paste uh, uh, paste special. Um, and you can do this two ways, just paste values. So you can do paste special and then values, or on the home tab, you can just click paste values, which is the easy way. And now that is no longer a formula. That is just raw data. And that is how you use VLOOKUP. Note that there's another uh, tool called, or another function called HLOOKUP, which is for horizontal lookup. That's that. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me and we'll be happy to give you a hand. Thank you.